KM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to HCAM News Live. I'm HCAM News Director Tom Nappy. Thanks for tuning in. On this special edition of HCAM News Live, we will relive some great holiday festivities in Hopkinton from past years. We start off with this year. During these tough pandemic times, the Hopkinton Senior Center provided free holiday dinners to the senior community, here's a look. Uh, we are here at the Senior Center and what we have today is a holiday oh dinner that we're yeah. passing out. We've got about 120 oh seniors that are picking early. up dinners yeah. today yeah. in, in Hopkinton. And as you can see, we've got Santa and the Grinch here to join us in case there's any mix up. Uh, Santa's in red and the Grinch is, you know, he's in green. So. <laughs> But anyway, we're, we're excited to have everyone come by. We've already had a few people show up, and uh, this is what's going on at the Senior Center. Always something. Okay. Well, we do a dinner for about 40 people um, Tuesday through Friday, so four days a week. And we wanted to do something at Thanksgiving. We had a Thanksgiving dinner we passed out, and we wanted to give a special holiday dinner. Normally, we have a big Christmas party that the Police Association puts on for the seniors. This year, obviously, we can't all get together. So we are doing our little part, and it's through the CARES Act and um, generosity of a number of people that we're able to put together this for everybody. So the CARES Act is the, the biggest sponsor, but we do, uh, we got our meal and uh, uh, the spoon was a big part of this. This meal is coming from the spoon, paid for by the CARES Act, but we've had a number of seniors who brought a little extra special something. So there's a few extra treats in with the meal. We're trying to do something special each month um, when we can. And so I think January is a little iffy, but we will have something in February and March. So keep your eyes open for the newsletter. Uh, that tells you everything that's going on. Airing Fridays at 10 a.m. right here on HCAM. You can catch Keep Moving, a show that is hosted by the staff of the Senior Center to keep you up to date on all the happenings at the center. On our most recent episode, the Senior Center staff talked about their favorite holiday traditions. Here's a look. I love number one, Christmas Eve, and going to a candlelight service and singing Silent Night. I do, I love it. But for my family, I love it when we come together. You know, to me, the tradition is love, acts of love. Mine is from when I was a kid. Every Christmas Eve, my, my brother and I would um, have a cup of hot chocolate, and my father would read this book to us every year. Oh, so nice. I still have it. Every holiday Christmas tradition, of course, is, is Christmas Eve service um, with the family. And, but... More recently, as, as well, through my marriage, Christmas ornaments have been um, very special to me because my mother-in-law started giving an ornament every year and they were always Hallmark ones, you know, Norman Rockwell uh, pictures on them or just, um, you know, faith-based ornaments. We've always done a, a craft on Thanksgiving it has to do with Christmas. After dinner, all the women would get together around the table and we'd do some craft that Pam came up with. Very crafty people. And this year they made what they called snow globes, but it was done with um, a laminated machine. And this happens to be the one they made this year. And this one, it's an ornament, 
Oh. 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 Ours was pretty much the similar thing with the ornaments. I've done it every year for my kids. Some years it's more difficult to come up with something because you feel like, you know, sometimes it's obvious and sometimes you, you question, should I do this or should I not? And one of the things that I did one year, I, I could not find something for one of my daughters. And finally I said, she likes Starbucks. So I got her one of the little Starbucks card, didn't put any money on it. That was the sad part later on. <laughs> Punched a hole in it, tied a string around it, and that was her ornament. And when she opened it, she was like, what? <laughs> no, but to me, the, the fun, and yet sometimes it's, you, you wonder if they're making fun of it, is when they open, pull out their ornaments every year, and they're hanging them on the tree. And they're like, what was mom thinking this year? <laughs> And she gave the other part was just always cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies was mm -hmm. always a key part of our um, holiday tradition. And my mother used to make, I don't know, 12 different varieties. And when I was in school, we could still give gifts to teachers that were homemade. Mm -hmm. And we would decorate coffee cans. They'd clean out the coffee cans and we'd decorate the outside for each teacher. And then we'd fill it with cookies and give that to the teacher. We are going to take a short break on HCAM News Live. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Welcome back to HCAM News. Each year, Hopkinton Card and Gift hosts their annual holiday open house. Here's a look back at some of the most recent years of this great tradition. Nicole, are you? Oh my goodness, let's see that face paint. Wow, that is very cool. You guys still having some fun? Yes. All right, good, good, good. Merry Christmas. This past weekend, holiday festivities took place throughout Hopkinton. At Hopkinton Drug and the Card and Gift Store, they hosted their annual holiday open house. The event featured numerous activities, including caricature drawings. I'm Sam. Sophia. You guys have a good time today? Yeah. yeah. So, so what's happening over here right now? Um, um, they're doing like pictures of you. Of like a, caricatures. Yeah, like caricatures of, yeah. Cool. What else did you guys do today? Did you hang we, out? We got a Christmas tree. Oh, very nice. At Western Nurseries. At Western right Nurseries. Yes. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. All right. What did you see here at uh, Hopkinton Drug today? Um, we saw some mini booze, like, like this one, and um, this, and some toy cars. Very cool. Have you guys talked to Santa yet? Nope. No, not yet. Uh, okay, what are you going to ask for for Christmas? Um, American Girl Doll. P PS4. Come on down to our 31st annual Holiday Open House. There's all kinds of fun, games, and entertainment for kids and adults. Santa's here, face painting, crafts, and most importantly, we do our uh, raffle for Project Just Because. We sell tickets. There's some great raffle baskets, which you'll see just in a minute to my left and all the money goes directly to help families in need. How was the uh, turnout today? Turnout was fantastic today. We had all kinds of families coming on through, people having lots of fun, being entertained, uh, eating some of the snacks, and just having a great holiday time. Jojo the Magician was also there to entertain. Uh, so the thing is, with cards, playing cards, if you, if you shake them, they can start to change. So this is a very well-known card. The Queen of Spades, if I just shake it, watch. 
you can start to change. Does that look all right? That's awesome. Oh, wow, thank you. And the weird thing is that if you just give it a, it can change right back, so. Where is the little red ball? Where is it? Where? In your hand. Oh, that's where the eyeball would silly. Ah! Give yourselves a round of applause. Or, you know, watching that one. I know you got a little scared. Oh, this is a, this is a funny one. I've been working on my comedy, some jokes. Um, I asked my mom if I was funny. She said, yeah, funny looking. I was like, wow, thanks, mom. Um, so, I decided to come up with jokes. Um, so, who cleans the ocean floor? A mermaid. Ha! I, they're, they're written on pieces of paper. Um, um, what do you call a crocodile detective? An alligator. Yeah, I mean, investigator. Um, oh, why do people sit in a corner when they're cold? Because it's 90 degrees. All right, I have a construction joke, but I'm still working on it. Um, the other day, a man got hit in the head with a soda can. It's all right, it was a soft drink. Um, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Yeah, good one. Um, uh, yeah, I have a few, but the thing is, I have so many of these newspapers, and it's so, it's so, like, all these pieces of paper, it's so annoying to just carry around. So I might as well just have the whole newspaper here with me. Does that make sense? Does that not make sense? I don't know. You can clap if you want. But thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Kids had an opportunity to tell Santa Claus what they wanted for Christmas. You do like blue, okay. And you were being a good boy for your mommy? Okay, very good, very good. Well, you were very brave to come over and see me, my old friend. Well, Avery and Leo, I look forward to seeing you on Christmas Eve. Now, are you going to leave me any cookies? Mm -hmm. What kind of cookies? I don't know. You don't know? Chocolate chip is some of my favorite. Very good. Tell me, is there any presents you'd like to have for Christmas? Would you like to have? Oh, very good choice. All right, all right. What would you like for Christmas, Olivia? Merry Christmas. You like Paw Patrols? Oh, my goodness. We love making the Paw Patrols at the North Pole. That's a good choice. Oh, you like the blingers? What's your favorite color now, Nora? Um, pink. Can't pink is an away. excellent choice, my friend. Very good. Now, are you being a good girl for Daddy? You're eating all your vegetables? Oh, good job, good job. Well, we're very, very busy here at Hopkinton Trug. It's been a fantastic day. We started right at 12, meeting children from all over Hopkinton and Milford and, and some wonderful children from all these communities. We're having a great time here, of course. In fact, there's even a magician here. I saw him do a little bit of magic. So that was good, yeah. So what has been the uh, most asked for toy today? Well, you know, it depends on the age. Uh, some children, but Legos are always very popular. Uh, unicorns have become quite popular in the last couple of years, taking over butterflies, as I was surprised to learn. Um, let's see, uh, many of the children are asking for, uh, uh, you know, scooters, skateboards, uh, rollerblades, hoverboards are very popular as well. And I've even gotten a few requests for Barbies, which, as you know, we've been making Barbies at the North Pole for a long time. Thank you very much, Santa. Have You're, a Merry Christmas. You're very welcome. Ho, ho, ho. You guys been uh, having a busy weekend? Busy weekend, yes. Yesterday, a little busier because of the Hopkinton uh, stroll, downtown stroll. But a good number this today, too. So, so we're glad everybody was able to come out and visit. And what do you paint on this young lady's face? This lady's having a snowman. And I asked her what snowman wanted to hold. Yesterday I did a hammer on a board. This one's a flower. You could turn it around and show. You want to turn it around and show Tom? Your snowman? Oh, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, there's some nice. snow. So we're all doing the snow dance because the kids can't make snowmen if there's no snow. Look, it's still raining out there, but we need to all do the snow dance. Hi, I'm Vera. Um, I'm one of the hosts for the open house at Hopkinton Drug. I have some different smoothies to sample out for people to try. Um, I'm also giving yep, out samples of nutritional there. products and we're selling raffle we tickets. Can. We I, have I several gift food. baskets that the Skip yeah, Store staff put together and it's also a benefit project just because. So we're having a great family fun day. 
Terrific. And uh, what are the smoothies about? Are they uh, vitamin filled? Or? Some of them are, yeah. I have um, a new product here that I'm sampling out in a few different flavors. It has vitamins, minerals, and herbs. That's called spoonfuls. And I also have just a plain vegan pea protein that I'm showing people how you can add um, fruits in a blender and make a healthy snack or like a breakfast um, as a um, part of a whole food based diet. Oh, we're making children's scraps. Uh, star and sand art and a snowman bracelets. Has it been uh, busy over here? Oh yeah, very. Just have a great time. What are you making over here? I'm making bracelets. Oh, very nice. Is that bracelet for you? You're gonna give it to someone as a gift. I'm going to give it to my mom. Oh, that's so nice of you. Ooh, why, why Hey folks, come on down to our 29th annual open house here at Hopkinton Drug and Hopkinton Card and Gift and join in the festivities. There's face painting, Twas the Night Before, Christmas reading, Santa, all kinds of events and uh, uh, shopping to do for the holidays. So you can come right down here to 52 Main Street in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to a couple of Sanders helpers. This is Abby. She works in the lab and works with Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Abby the Elf, Merry Christmas, my young friend. I hope you're all going to come down to Hopkinton Drug to see us. we got lots of fun times. There's goodies for the kids and for the grown-ups. And, of course, you'll get to see me, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. So I'm Allie, and I'm with Sigveris. So we are a company that does compression hosiery, and um, Hopkinton Drug is one of our vendors. So you can buy compression hosiery here. Um, we have have a certified fitter here. Her name is Lisa. So you can come in at any point. She'll measure you properly, um, educate you on our products. So. All right, what does uh, compression hosiery do? What's the benefits? What does it do? Um, so anybody that has any type of vein disease um, might need compression. It's also great for sports as well. So here we sell the sports sleeves and we also sell the traverse socks as well. Um, so that's going to help with lactic acid with um, build up. It's also going to help just with recovery, muscle recovery. It's going to just basically help your legs feel better at the end of the day. Um, so all of our compression, it's gradient, which means that at the ankle it has more compression and then it has less compression as you go up the leg. Making kids cups. Working on uh, sand ornaments, ring ornaments. Oh, I love that he's holding the scarf. That is very sand interesting. Up. Very nice. I no. see you. They're buttons. Hey there. buttons. Say hi well, to the you, camera. Hello. Can you Show say hello craft. to the camera? Hi. Show your craft. The camera the over camera. there. What did you make? Did you make so, a snowman? Yeah. What did you make? Cheese. Wow. <laughs> Brita, what did you make? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm busy with my cooking. Very nice. Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, you know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do we all the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Oh, so bright, won't you guide my soul?
way to nine. Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. And one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. 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 Another great tradition in Hopkinton is the annual Christmas tree lighting at the town common. Here's a look back to the festivities in 2019. A great crowd was on hand. On Saturday night at the town common, the annual tree lighting took place. Before the lighting, Hopkinton Scouts entertained the crowd with some Christmas tunes. Good time at the town common today. Yeah. Did you get up there and sing? Yeah. All right. Who'd you say with the Girl Scouts? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Are you excited for the tree lighting? Yes. All right.
right now, we take you back to 2017, in which Hopkins School hosted a great holiday music concert. Here's a look. of that tune. We all have powerful voices and need to use them to make good choices to make the world a better place. Our next song is called Snow Day. What kid doesn't want a snow day? We have been working hard to make the ending, which is in two parts. Balance perfectly. I'll give you every guarantee that I can Don't forget, you can catch a number of Hopkinton Town Government meetings right here on the HCAM channels. Coming up in the very near future, on Monday, December 28th at 7 p.m., we'll have the Zoning Advisory Committee live on HCAM TV. On Monday, January 4th at 7 p.m., we'll have the Planning Board meeting. And on HCAM Ed, Monday, January 4th at 7 p.m., we will have the School Committee meeting. Well, believe it or not, that is just about all the time we have from all of us here at HCAM. We wish you very happy holidays, and we thank you for tuning in. Take care, be well, and we'll talk to you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Mm -hmm.